What's up guys, it's Maxwell today with Milestone episode 40 of my Let's Max Total 10 series. Thank you guys for sticking around with me. It's certainly been a lot of fun to me and I hope to you too. So um, today our king has actually been finishing up. He's parading around the base at level 35 now, so another huge um, 5 levels done. And that's of course always nice for king ability level 6, as we can see right here. So yeah, king ability level 6 right now, definitely going to upgrade this guy up to level um, 36, that's what comes after 35 today, um, so we're going to have that towards the end of the video. Um, but for now let's check out a couple of um, raids that I have been doing, then maybe also hop into a live one, why not for episode 40, but uh, let's check a couple of replays because I've actually been using a new attack strategy, so that should be pretty interesting. Um, let's uh, check this one right here. As you can see, I've been throwing baby dragons into the mix, so I've um, just been switching it up a little bit, keeping it fresh, keeping it interesting, that's always important for me in farming. I've actually been boosting for 6 hours yesterday on 3 different accounts, so um, yeah, definitely a lot of farming, and uh, this army definitely keeps it interesting. So only 10 minions in this army, you know that I'm usually using a lot of minions, so the entire goal with this is... Um, to, of course, get the Dark Elixir storage that is in the core in this case. Sometimes I spam in baby dragons right after the balloons, sometimes I just use them surgically like so, in this case, um, sniping off uh, until I can then drop all the rest of my baby dragons to head straight towards the Dark Elixir. So in this case I want to kill the king before I send the remaining three baby dragons, and uh, right as the king dies, um, right there you can see I'm sending in the three remaining baby dragons and the minions, they are going to be able to overwhelm this storage in the middle and also grab the town hall, I'm not quite sure, but uh, baby dragons are definitely pretty strong even if they are not raged, no I don't think, no they didn't grab the town hall this time. So anyways, 3000 dark elixir gain and won the raid, so um, that's always a nice thing. The cool thing about this army is that it is, it doesn't really cost any dark elixir, so only 395 Dark Elixir, that is mainly uh, due to the haste spells, of course, and only 10 minions, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's check out another raid. Um, we're gonna check the top one last, because that was amazing. Let's check this one, we're gonna get into two more replays, and then we're going to do the live raid. So right here I found a nice base with um, over 5000 Dark Elixir available, and I actually missed out on this drill right here, which is still annoying me watching it back now. That was yesterday evening. Um, and I think I was raiding on the phone or something, I de definitely didn't have a good overview about the whole situation uh, because yeah, I, otherwise I definitely wouldn't have missed that drill but uh, grabbed everything else uh, except, the, no I think I did get the town hall on this one, yeah I did get the town hall and that uh, drill right there but missed out this one for 1200 Dark Elixir, dang it still stinks but um, yeah, over 4000 was were stolen right here, so a gain of over 4000 as well with the leak bonus, but that's not the most insane raid I had so far because um, this one right here, oops, tag log, there we go, this one, this was this morning, uh, check it out guys, 6000 Dark Elixir, so I think this was even, I think this was first search as well, or maybe second or third search, definitely found it very quickly, um, a nice rush town on 11 right here with, with uh, close to 7000 um, Dark Elixir available. Of course the air defense are sort of close towards the core right here, so definitely going to be difficult to pick that off with um, baby dragons. Just started by sniping off a couple percent, then a couple of defenses around the outside just to get a little bit better pathing for the rest of my troops, and then I went uh, spam lama ding dong as you guys know I love to do. Um, from the top, free spell on Inferno and Wizzy Tower, saving a bunch of damage from my loons, and then the raged baby dragons, um, raged because of the rage, uh, not because they were on their own, were actually able to grab that storage right there for over 6,000 Dark Elixir guys. And this was also 6,000 gain since this army is so cheap. So um, definitely, definitely it is a lot more Elixir heavy though, so uh, sort of similar to Mass Miner back when I was doing that. Um, I always dropped Elixir farming as well, you guys may remember that. Uh, so this army is definitely very elixir heavy as well. Uh, I started this off yesterday, I think about midday, 
with about, um, I want to say, 5 million Elixir. And I have not upgraded anything with Elixir yet, so did a couple of boosts and dropped about 1.5 million Elixir. Um, actually, let me check if I can donate some stuff. No, not right now. I have another request in the clan, that's why I'm looking. Um, so yeah, definitely you're gonna, you're gonna probably drop a bit of elixir because this army costs 418,000 elixir actually, so that's a lot. But uh, I wanted to gain dark very quickly, so um, yeah. And let's check out the treasury that's empty. Okay, so we need... how much is the king? 164, alright. So guys, we need a life rate of over 3000 Dark Elixir um, to upgrade the king. So let's see if we can do that. So this base has 4000. Let me see if I want to hit that. Not really because the air defenses are all so close together in the core. That doesn't bode well for me. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to find one with at least 2600, 2700 that we can steal, I want to say. So let's see if we can find one. I'm pretty sure we can find one reasonably quickly. Um, oops. Did not mean to drop that balloon. <laughs> Always okay to drop a few trophies though. Actually, let me remove those um, troops from my queue. This was for donating, obviously. Can we hit this one? I think this is looking pretty good. Where is the third drill though? Down at the bottom. I think we are going to do this one, guys. Looks pretty good to me. Um, gonna start things off with a couple loons on that Wizzy Tower. Of course, there's Red Bomb there, but that shouldn't be any problem. So the tower is down. Alright, let's drop. Since we have a wizard, a random wizard, let's drop that there. Drop one baby over here. Will that already get the Dark Elixir drill? I'm not sure, but we're gonna have to find out. Let's distract that air defense for a bit with a couple of minions, just so the baby dragon can get a couple of shots off. Yeah, there we go. So we got the Dark Elixir drill, the first one out of the way. How are we already at 263,000, guys? I don't understand that, <laughs> but I don't want to complain. And then it's time to spam the rest over here, guys. Spam the balloons. Spam the baby dragons, spam the minions, and spam all the spells. So, um, free spell sh is probably going to be best used over there. Yeah, miss the air defense. Great job, guys. That's how you attack like a pro. You miss the air defense on the easiest free spell of your life. Um, looks like we got the drill, though, and we should have the win in the back as well. as to have the king and another entire archer to get the win if we need... Drop the archer over there. Probably not gonna wait it out anyways though. And should we use the king guys? <coughs> should we swag the level 35 king on this base? I think we are gonna use it to snipe off this. We actually get in the storage as well, that's awesome. Baby dragon, great job over there getting the storage for me. We're gonna drop him over here to just get that um, elixir pump right there. There goes a the giant bomb. Don't hurt my level 35 king. <clears throat> so yeah, let's uh, pop the perfect king ability right here, li right at CS at two thirds of health. There goes king ability, you should always use king ability as early as possible, in most cases at least. Why is he going through the wall right there? I don't know. Um, it's definitely going to be his end, going through the wall. But anyways, we're gonna wait it out for this one, just because we are gonna upgrade him anyways now, so it's definitely okay that he is going to die okay so there we go 3400 so the life one worked out as well guys stole 4000 dark elixir gained about three and a half because the army cost elixir as well and there we go king up to level 36 there we go and still have 2500 dark elixir in the back awesome so yeah that's gonna do it for this episode guys hope you enjoyed um, maybe gonna bring a little bit more life attacking to you in the future definitely let me know what you think about that in the comment section if you would like to see that or if you would like to keep it the way it is right now uh, or the way it has been for the first uh, 40 episodes pretty much and um, yeah as i said that's gonna do it for today until the next one i will see you all later peace out